This is how I get the perfect solder joint every time. First, you need to have quality materials. The solder that I use is the MG Chemicals 63% tin, 37% lead, no clean solder. For flux, I use the MG Chemicals no clean flux pen. I found this type of liquid flux to be easier to work with and doesn't leave behind any residue on the electronics like rosin core flux does. When soldering, make sure to use the right iron tip for the job. When working with large solder pads and wires, make sure to use a larger tip. For smaller wires, use a more precise tip. Make sure to have your iron nice and hot, but not completely maxed out. I like the solder in the 600 degree Fahrenheit range. This will prevent any cold solder joints from forming. Next, make sure to pre-tin your cable and solder pad. It'll make it easier for them to join together. I use a set of tweezers and helping hands to hold the board and wire in place. Finally, put some flux on the connection point and some solder on your iron and make the connection. Follow for more drone tips.